to you, viewers. Let's begin what's trending in the federal capital territory. We're residents affected by the ongoing demolitions that are by the FCT minister. Are crying out for help on Monday. The minister vowed that his administration will continue demolition of shanties in the capital. And they have identified that this area is one of the areas that pose a lot of threat to security. Look at where you have the rate of threats of the security in the FCT. And the security agencies are working 24 hours to make sure that Abija is safe, to make sure that citizens and residents of Abuja go about their normal businesses, having sleepless nights to make sure that all of us sleep comfortable. And they have identified that this area is one of the areas that pose a lot of threat to security. Look at where you have the rail line, look like a buffer zone. And if you allow this kind of people to be here, what it means that anything can happen to our, uh, to our trains. And nobody would take that uh, risk. All right. Well, they are saying security risk. Uh, Rike is complaining about that. And, you know, but during the visit, Rike also listened to uh, protesting community members in the area who say that over 10,000 residents have been displaced by the demolitions, while well, social media activist Martin also known as a very dark man, who also sure visited a community of displaced persons and they have identified that Lament this area is one of the areas that pose a lot of threat to security. Heart. He wrote on Look at where uh, at 12 15 a.m this morning i left my house to go see how the people that were affected by yisam waker's demolition were faring believe it is the most heartbreaking thing i ever did human beings being made to live like animals innocent children sleeping in the cold without bed sheets to cover up not even nets to protect them from mosquitoes the elderly, nursing mothers, all are out there in the cold. Some of them already sick because of the harsh Hamatan weather. Well, let's take a look at that video that Very Dark Man posted before we discuss. This is the condition of the people currently. Look at the elderly. That's the elderly. See? So let's go to where the children are. Look at the kids. See, these are in the cold, see them, see kids in the cold. Mosquito, mosquito will bite. So what if these children fall sick now? Medicine is no longer cheap, where you say, okay, you go buy cheap drugs. Medicine is very expensive. See where people are sleeping, see children, see kids. Is some of our leaders before, they push us in this condition. In the FCT, FCT, Federal Republic of Nigeria Center, so what is our, our appeal? We are not dragging of the land. We are the people of Nigeria. For the humanity concern, we are calling their attention to help us. To help this, us. This. Thank you very much. All right, very dark man doing the Lord's work there, yeah. but it was important for us to see these Nigerians that are out there, basically in IDP camps. I mean, isn't Wike is saying that, you know, they pose a security risk? I mean, I don't know I what other sort of risk. Security sure risk of out there. If you don't find accommodation for these people, you just this demolish area their homes and not get where that pose they a lot of live. 10,000 people Look at displaced where you have in the Ruga community. Very sad. So, I have extensively done a lot of work with internally displaced people. In fact, at some point within the year, we're trying to have a concert to be able to build, raise money, to be able to build a place for them. Recently, with a certain foundation called their mm -hmm. America, we help you know provide schools and everything. In fact, a rice correspondent did go there to cover it uh, when the mayor of Te uh, Branco in Texas did come to that location. It is very sad that the country fails these people. Most of these people are people running away from chaos being created in parts of the country that government cannot solve. So you are saying they should leave. Where should they go to? What have you provided for them? You are sending them off the streets. Yes, 
But where is the next place? And the question is, if you ever send it on the street, must you all constantly come and hug the mic and be the one in the forefront? I mean, there's a department that's supposed to do that. And what adequate measures are you building for them? So you send them off the street, they will sleep off the street, they will live in very chaotic conditions and all of that. And nobody helps them, except for groups, like the group I've just mentioned, that provides schools in this camps mm -hmm. for them, that provides education. The government totally fails these people every time. Yeah. And it's a very sad one because at some point in this country, the camps Nigeria knew, Nigerians did know, were the camps that Liberians that were fleeing from war used to come and stay in parts of this country. Today, our own people fleeing from chaos are now taking over these camps. Mm. Two things I think shall happen. The FCT, with a lot of its wealth, should be able to provide sort of like a transit camp for these people till they go back That's to it. their lives. That's it. Government should be able to invest heavily in it. Maybe that will spur government to stop the chaos of insecurity happening that's making these people flee their homes. Because, you see, these people had life they were living. And I also cite another experience. When the flood disaster happened around 2011, 2012, I was part of the team that went to see the people in the IDP camps, you know, in Ugeli. Mm. And I heard their stories. Most of these people had homes of their own, but their lives were ruined in a day. So let's not think that these people are never do worse. They just love to sleep on the streets and things like that. That's why government needs to increase its humanitarian budget and provide solutions for them. So, Minister Wiki, you that you have come out to say, yes, we put them, uh, they, are, they are this, they are that, they are criminals and all of that. Where are you providing for them? <coughs> and check in your line item in your budget if you have something there. I okay. like that point that you made, uh, Rufai, talking about, you know, increasing the humanitarian budget, which I think that is one of the most important things. I mean, we have seen this sort of um, demolition even take place here in Lagos and across the states. But what are the measures that have been taken to take care of these our Nigerians? Like you heard that man said, we are Nigerians. We are not saying that it is our land, though, but we are Nigerians. We need protection. And I thought it was important to highlight the story for the... FCT minister, speaking about budgets, Nigerians have reacted to a new report by the National Bureau of Statistics showing that the debt burden on every Nigerian has risen sharply with the average debt per capita now standing at approximately 620,000 Naira. Well, according to the Debt Management Office, Nigeria's total public debt reached 134.297 trillion naira as of the second quarter of 2024 and with nigeria's population estimated at 216 million the figure translates to a debt burden of 620,000 naira for every nigerian citizen this news has elicited outrage among many nigerians as the figure is nearly nine times the newly approved minimum wage of 70,000 naira let's take some reactions this is from Reward Aya, who wrote, Nigerians are owing 620,000 naira per citizen, yet some state governors are struggling to meet up with the minimum wage increment of 70,000, 80,000, some are even paying less. With all this drama going on, yet the government is saying that citizens owe debt. They could not talk another thing or oh. well another twitter user pure stanley wrote i don't owe the government 619,501 naira the government haven't done anything for me they don't pay me my salary i'm myself employed they don't feed me i feed myself they don't give me light i gave myself light by getting a solar panel for myself and a generator on standby the road they constructed, I paid for with my tax money. So what exactly have I benefited from the government that warrants me owing them over 600,000 naira as debt? Our favorite Niger wife, Vimbai. You know, I reached out to our senior business uh, um, anchor, Boston Omafaye, eh? and he told me that he's reached out to the DG of the debt management agency and he's, you know, yet to receive, you know, the 
you know, the final figures of, of how much uh, me, Nigerian citizen, <laughs> is it, owing. It's a major I conversation. Mean, come on. You know, Rufai here has always been insisting on the fact that as much as this administration is saying the debt servicing, debt to revenue yeah. ratio mm -hmm. uh, has improved, uh, that's one of their key achievements. <laughs> In real terms, debt has increased. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and this speaks to that. So, we're now each uh, owing uh, over six hundred thousand naira. And, like the commenter rightfully said, uh, you know, I don't think people would question this amount if they could go to the hospital That's and it. find medication there and get treatment. If children could go to schools uh, for free where they got a good education, if I could open my tap and there was clean running water coming out, the list is endless. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody would even consider these. But the fact that we go all around the world, Oji, on so many trips to negotiate deals of, oh, we've secured this loan, we've secured that loan, our oil, our NNP, our oil managed by NNPC, it's, it's you know, being sold at a mortgage. How much of that revenue are we even realizing? Because most of our in inflow from oil goes to paying debts. Mm -hmm. We're just perpetually in debt and we're not seeing life improving in any way. Borrowing is not a bad thing. But what are you borrowing for? This was one of those big debates that we had, Absolutely. I remember 2023, where yeah. we're saying borrowing should be for productivity, not for consumption, consumption consumption, consumption. See, now people who've never borrowed a day in their lives have woken up to news that, in fact, even if you haven't borrowed, you're still owing. You're yeah, owing. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Come on. Bye. Bye. Well, meanwhile, the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Olukoyede, has called on the National Assembly to increase its allocation in the 2025 budget to enable it to acquire requisite state-of-the-art technology to fight illicit financial flows and monitor trading of crypto and other virtual currencies in the country. Let's take a look. Uh, we need your support in the area of 2025 budget. Esteemed distinguished members, if you don't help me, probably not only dog, I, I don't need less than 300 percent of your of the last year budget you approved for me to work this year, and I must be serious. If you want this work to go on, there's a software I'm trying to procure just to investigate cryptocurrency and this uh, the virtual currency trading and all of that, which is uh, the major problem to us. Every the list will be will receive this 3.4 billion just for just one software. And I can tell you several billions of dollars we are losing through the, you know, this unlicensed cryptocurrency trade in Nigeria. Now we are meeting with SEC and CBN, we have come, come up with regulations, and so which is, we need to prepare for us to monitor them, their tax payment, the revenue that is supposed to fall to government. If we do our work very well, we can't, we won't realize less than five billion dollars every year. <laughs> We're talking about debt, uh, Dr. Abati, I mean, EFCC is saying that they can even just purchase one one equipment for what, four billion or what, what are they talking about here at this point? Monitoring crypto and all the fraudulent activities going on abroad. What are your thoughts on I'm this I'm sure increase? that every department or ministry or agency or government can do with more money. Exactly. Because running a government is, you know, expensive. And if the ESCCTI is saying they will need to invest more in technology, in facilities to be able to, you know, deliver efficient service, the police might as well say the same. Mm -hmm. The military Absolutely. are saying the same. After all, the other day, we had a, an admiral on this chair who was saying, look, give the Navy more money instead of going to create uh, additional agencies. So that's given. But it's the responsibility of the uh, National Assembly to look at the they various kind of things and do, I do the of and your, uh, for the last, all the relevant yeah, agencies to, 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 to make sure that what is being requested for if that you want this work to go And then beyond that is a bigger question of accountability. We have the procure. monitoring system to ensure to this is, and to ensure that those policies are used for the same purpose. 
for which so they are the least we build, we This is the big problem billion. with the budgeting Just process software. in Nigeria. And that's why people have been asking for civic participation in the budgeting process. So that the citizen the can monitor the budgetary system, allocation, and performance now we are meeting of the regular And that we takes me to the point you raised earlier so it is about the uh, debt, right? That every, every Nigerian is going to be in the system of 20,000. The same Nigerian that, is, uh, that cannot buy fuel. The same Nigerian that the cost of living crisis, you know, has reduced to uh, 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 the level of a pauper in his own country that is so rich in um, mineral resources and other resources. No, I think that the average Nigerian would think that that is a joke. Now, as Sevimba pointed out, the problem is not about debt. Countries take debt. After all, America is about the most indebted country in the world. But the question again is accountability. When you borrow this money, what do you use it for? The complaint has been that when Nigeria borrows money, this money is used to promote conspicuous consumption mm -hmm. of the rich, of the privileged, and not to provide any service for the Nigerian people, which is why corruption is considered, is in fact, you know, the most serious problem that has afflicted this country since independence. And yet, against the background of this, Mr. Waliedu tells us that uh, our debt to service ratio Debt service to revenue ratio has reduced from 100% to 65%. That when the Tinubu came in, it inherited an economy that was near bankrupt. Now, Foreign Reserve, Mr. Olayemi Kaduso, the CBN governor, uh, following up on the heels of uh, what Mr. Edu said, also said that, look, the Foreign Reserve that was down at a point to about 36 uh, billion dollars they've been able to raise it to 39.7 billion dollars mm. so i'm saying with these achievements that the minister of finance and the central bank governor has pointed out have both pointed out i was still saying that we are only service 620,000 because the average nigeria may not be even believe that figure the serious problem because of the lack of accountability since the independence the department of the demand background is lying on saying we are only 620,000 with all the achievements ratio that debt service to revenue ratio the tinubu administration is claiming the money must be less than that. Yeah. So we have this trust deficit yes. between government and our people. The only solution, the only solution on the part of the administration is to present us with an atmosphere, a regime of efficiency, mm -hmm. of accountability, so that even if you tell the average Nigeria that is owing this much, you say, well, at least we can see what they are doing <laughs> with uh, uh, our money. Our money. Because okay. what we are talking about is our money, our money, as the people call it. Absolutely. I've seen that you're calculating. Don't worry. They said it's 600,000 naira. No, I mean, right. I know that you don't owe, you don't owe, you don't make 70,000, because it takes you nine months about, about that. Nigeria, but, doctor, you put your entire salary. <laughs> To be common, something's got to give. Let, let's try to um, be yeah, yeah, correct. Absolutely. Since uh, you independence, you know, it's a lot. Yeah, it can never be 70,000 naira now. Guess what? You earn minimum wage. 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 You earn minimum w